you guys my skin um really did go through a really tough time i know it doesn't look like it now but my skin really did go through a tough time and i'll even insert a lot of pictures and a lot of videos like this is the time to just show y'all guys that my face has really trans for the transformation the transformation was amazing like literally amazing like amaze boss but um <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I know y'all are probably wondering like why the hell am I on here with these braids? Um, I just want to give y'all the skincare routine that I've been saying that I was going to give y'all that I never really, really gave y'all, but I just gave y'all a little bitty glimpse. So, um, we're really going to get into that today. Um, I have previous videos recorded, but I just could not um seem to upload them without acknowledging the fact that we are going through terror sometimes and um black lives matter is in full effect and i'm very proud of my black people as well as other races around the nation who are coming together for a very important cause and understanding that we could put everything to the side for right now because it's a lot of things that need to be addressed and once we address them, they need to be fixed. And once they are fixed, they never need to go back to how they were. And uh, I was trying to push out a lot of content, a lot of content, but it just, it just, it just didn't sit right because I, my mind was just going through um, a very hard time because, like. Uh, I'm a different person. If I see somebody's hurting, I hurt too, which is humane, really. So um, everything was the George Floyd and the Breonna Taylor and Ahmad, I believe. Um, it's just pitiful. It's freaking pitiful. And I don't wanna like, I didn't want to start off subscribers week without um, addressing that because that needs to be addressed from the smallest platform to the largest one. I don't care what you're doing, what business you have. If you don't address this matter, I will discontinue your ass because it's just, it, there's no way to skip the elephant in the room. The elephant is big and very fucking loud in the room and it needs to be talked about. If you're uncomfortable, good. Because maybe that's showing something deep down inside that you need to work on. Um, speak your mind, speak your um, voice, and voice your opinion, of course, because if you keep it silent, then no one can correct you if you're wrong. And if you keep it silent, the ones who can't think of the words can't say them. So this is a big ass discussion that everybody needs to get the chitty chitty talking about, chitty chat and get something done so as a world we could come together. Uh, I'm so glad I did this now because if I would've came on here when everything was like really deep, I would've been angry and livid and y'all would've seen another side of me that y'all probably wouldn't wanna see. But now is the time because now I can talk about it and I can not cry and not be angry and not say hurtful things that might hurt the opposing side i could just be the loving um all around loving person that i really am because i really don't hate anyone but man do some shit make me mad so uh talk about it let's talk about it you got white friends talk about it with them don't just not say nothing because it's weird or it's awkward if you have black friends talk about it because we need to come to an understanding because at this point we're looking at things from a different light and now we need to share each other's perspective so we can learn how to love treat and respect each other because i'll be damned if for 400 years we've been preaching the same shit 
and then for me to have a kid and then I have to explain it to them, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. That shit's dead. It's a dub. It's over with. So the shit has to change and it has to stop now. And it starts now. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> My beautiful people, be kind, be loving, and just do the right fucking thing. Do the right thing. Listen, if you do the right thing, there's no way you can be in the wrong. Okay, honey? Okay, sir? Okay, mister? Okay, whoever you may be, whatever you want to call yourself. Just do the right thing. That's all I'm asking, y'all. It doesn't matter if you're purple, brown, black, white, orange. Join the hell in because this is a time where we need to come together. If we separate, this is not the time to separate. All right, with that being said, I'm going to move on and we're going to get into the face. And I know you guys have been waiting and I changed. Well, I didn't change anything. I still use the same products and I still get the same results. I just have different tools now. And I'm just going to go in deeper, deeper depth with you about how I get my face to look like this. Um... I do believe I have really good skin. Um, I do believe my skin was a lot better before um, <laughs> esthetician school. And uh, yeah, I just want y'all to know I'm black as fuck and I will always be black as fuck. Nothing will change me from being black as fuck. I'm on here with my cornrows to the back because I'm black as fuck and I need for every race to understand that and I need for every race to respect that I keep going back to the topic but we gonna move on um my face is uh it's been it's been going through some changes which I feel like everybody's everybody's face probably does that when the older you get the more your skin has been on earth and Earth is a polluted place. So my number one step I do is I make sure that my hands are absolutely clean. I do not use hand sand. I use soap, antibacterial soap and water because my hands will be touching my face. Um, then I go in and I put my headdress on, which you guys, this is the, um, this is the thing my boyfriend was telling me that I needed to get and I end up getting it. And um, guess where I got it from and for how much? You know what? This quarantine has showed me some sh some, some new shiz naive. Okay, so I got this from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree! Oh. I didn't got a lot of stuff in this uh, little face routine care package that I'm about to present to y'all from Dollar Tree. It's not expensive. I don't believe in just spending a lot of money. I believe in working with what works and what is convenient to me. Um, so, yeah. This is the headdress. Um, it is 100% polyester, which I think polyester is okay to put on the hair because Yeah, I think so. Is polyester okay? I think it is, but it's micro it's a microfiber washing um, type of thing. So um, I washed my hair today. As you can tell, I have cornrows in the back of my head, and um, this is dry already. You know, a towel would still be damp and everything. This dries really fast. It doesn't mildew or have that stinky smell from being wet because it dries so fast. And I really love these because it has a little thing where you could just, like, bro, it's so convenient. And you you mean to tell me this is for a dollar? It's April bath and shower. Um, it's for a dollar. Okay, so I'm going to just treat this as if I'm waking up in the morning and what I usually do. So um, I do do different things for a night routine because that is a night routine. And I do a lot of nurturing during the night. Um, what I do in the morning is a lot of protecting because uh, outside has a lot of toxins and debris and everything in the air. And I'm going out, so you need to protect the skin. And at night, you need to nourish it. I hope you're you're taking these um, thoughts that I'm putting out to y'all and using them in your own way because what I use on my face may not work for you or it might. I am... Uh, I feel like I'm a normal face gal, 
because I do have breakouts and um, if I do dirty shit to my face, if I do dirty things to my face, it will break out. Um, if I cleanse it, it'll, you know, stay in line kind of, sort of. But um, I am combinations. So that is important for you guys to know as well. Is I did go to extra school, so I know a little bit about it. I'm not gonna say that I am the best, but I'm definitely not the worst. So, um, <clears throat> waking up in the morning, if I have blemishes, I tried, you guys, I tried to wait until a blemish popped up on my face, but I mean, clearly God said, baby girl, you've been, I got these from Dollar Tree and I really didn't think that they would work. But I went back and I got like a whole bunch more because these are freaking awesome. So what they do is they absorb oil and residue, helps clear blemishes overnight while you sleep. And they are non-medicated. Uh, so uh, what you do is, I'll show it to you. So this is a new pack because I can't find my old pack that is open right now. But they're just little dots, so some of them are smaller. They have the sizes on them. So that you have an eight millimeter and a 12 millimeter um, little patch. And you just do your routine and you put these on your face at night, wherever you have that huge pimple or bump or just, you know, blemish or imperfection on your face. And it literally sucks it out the same day. Sucks it out the same day. If you wanna see how I use these at night, go ahead. Click that thumbs up button and I'll give you a night routine because that routine is more so for the nourishment of my skin. And this one is gonna be to cleanse it and to prepare it for today. Waking up in the morning, I would just take those off, right? Peel them off wherever I'm having a blemish. And then I would go in with my Cetaphil Daily um, Facial Cleanser. So this is we talked I talked about this in my last video I'll actually like put some clips here and I'll also leave it down below because that is how I cleanse my face from makeup because makeup you have to do several steps of cleansing to really like get all of that out of your pores and your skin um I won't be cleansing my face that much because like I said we're just cleaning the face and, and protecting it and getting it you know sealed in and ready to walk outside and be in the sun and everything else but yeah, this is a really good gentle um, face cleaner. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more out there like this one, but it's really soft and it doesn't dry out your skin. For me, I am combination. Uh, so I get oil like in here and um, I say on my forehead, um, probably around my lip here because I do sweat a lot in my chin, uh, but that's about it. I'm usually uh, regular to dry anywhere else. I, you, I didn't get dry this um, summer, you guys. My eczema or none of that has flared up or showed up. Again, summer is coming, but I'm very proud because I've been really taking care of my face so I could give y'all this video. But um, this is, um, it removes surface oil, dirt, and makeup without leaving your skin feeling tight and overly dry. Um, it rinses clean without leaving pore clogging residue. And it's gentle enough for everyday use. So you can use this twice a day and you'll be fine. I hate things where it's so drying that you're like actually cracking when you get out the shower. This doesn't do that. Or when you wash your face, you have that oil spot on your nose. That is a sign that you are drying out your natural oil. I know it looks pretty, sis. I know it looks pretty, but you're, you, that is a sign that you're sucking out your natural oil. And once your natural oil is like gone, then it's a whole nother subject and your skin could not flourish, basically. Those natural oils are there to help you and nourish you. You take them all away, you're gonna be dry, you're gonna break out, uh, and we don't want that. I'm just gonna go in and show you guys how I wash my face. Um, I just bought this um, electric face cleaning brush uh, from Catherine Medellin Reno. Medellin Reno? I don't know, it's pretty lit. I kept it in the box for you guys, but I've had this for some time. So now I'm gonna actually throw away the box because it has a safety thing on there where I don't have to keep the box. Well, I could keep the box because it does give me an extra brush. But um, this is how it looks. I've been um, washing my face with this now instead of my hands because 
this just lessens the chance of germs being put back onto my face in a very fragile state because once you put that warm water on your face your your pores are going to open up like your eyes in the morning and whatever goes in they're trying to keep it okay so i want you to think of your your eye i mean your face like a living mechanism because it really is the skin is the biggest organ on the body and you need to take care of it sweetie so um this has six speeds so you just push the the middle button my boyfriend just had to fix it for me because <laughs> i thought i broke it but it's not broke um this has six speeds and i really didn't understand why i got one with six speeds because i'm looking like i don't need six speeds just give me a slow a medium and a fast and i'll be okay but the six speeds is really important because sometimes i do notice that my face gets in a fragile state where i need where i where that's too harsh and it needs to be like turned really down and then i notice where my face needs to be like super clean and I need to turn it up because it needs to like really break down everything. So um, also um, it depends on the pressure that I'm using. I noticed that if I'm having a stressful day and I'm trying to just hurry up and wash my face, I'm pressing this brush really hard into my face. If I lighten it up, it won't do as much damage. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm putting, I'm letting y'all know the whole attribute of this face care shit because it really matters. Pressing this into your face too hard is like buffing your face. All right, so I know this is pretty long, but uh, y'all ask for it and this is how in depth I get with it. So I'm just trying to like really help somebody out that really cares about their skin as much as I care about mine. So this is obviously running out yeah it's running out so i just basically wet my face um and now i'm gonna turn it on and just go in lightly it's a lot more um oil based which is really good for the skin. People with um, acne and um, oily skin get really scared when you say oil base, but um, I feel like it uses really good oils for the face. Like one of the oils they use is castor oil and castor oil is really hydrating. Um, I don't know if it's like uh, pore clogging, but I would put castor oil literally everywhere on me, on my head too. So, yeah, yeah. Just go in. Now my face isn't really sensitive today because like I haven't did nothing to it. So now I'm gonna speed it up and just get into my oily spots which is my forehead, nose, chin. Get your jawline underneath your chin. Now I don't do this long because you don't want to overdo it. And then I rinse. So after that, I just let the air, you know, suck into my skin because we still need nourishment, right? And water is the um, number one hydrator. And then once I see that it's sucking up pretty well, I go ahead and with my toner from Dickerson's, this is a hydrating toner. This is pretty good. It says 2016 Beauty Game Changer in Teen Vogue. This is still a game changer in 2020 and I didn't know shit about it. They were bogus. Um, I believe in using hydrating toners because toners with witch hazel 
um, can be very drying. Uh, so uh, it's very cleansing, which we need. Um, but uh, I believe in hydrating toners because like I said, I am combination, but I believe that the skin flourishes better. The makeup applications are better when your skin is more dehydrated than deprived. So I just go in and spray this. I put it in a spray bottle because ever since I came from esthetician school, I just love it that way. I don't like taking a cotton swab and like dabbing it because like sis, get up in this skin. Um, this also helps to close the pores back up, right? Cause you don't want them open all day. It helps to seal them in um, and just seal in all that water and uh, the benefits of the toner. It just pushes it all in. And it just prepares your face for your moisturizers basically. And it also gives you back your um, skin's natural pH because sometimes uh, doing a lot of cleansing, you can strip that away from your face. Now that that toner has seeped in a little bit, um, you can go in with a tissue if you feel like that, like it's just taking forever to dry. I don't know where my box of Kleenex is, so I'm taking regular toilet tree tissue, hoping that it doesn't like leave a residue on my face. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. But yeah, and you can just, pat it on and whip it off. But now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. antioxidant drops before I go in with any type of moisturizer because what this little bad boy does here is amazing. It helps the skin stay, I mean, it helps the skin fight free radicals, which are things that are just not good for the skin in general. And um, they fight against um, aging and wrinkles in the face. Um, I don't, um, worry about aging because my mom my mom doesn't look old or anything what baby no I'm doing a video yeah what are you showing them get what get no come here give it to me why are you like showing on plastic Stop it. Do you hear me? You can choke and die. You know what death is? Never see us again. Throw it in the garbage. You guys, you know what's the messed up part is? I like to chew plastic too. Um, so um we're gonna go in with some of these. I actually do need to um I have to get some more of this as well, but like I said, I haven't been to Walmart in a while, and I've been just going to Dollar Tree for everything. <laughs> like seriously, but I'm going to go and pick up everything that I need because I really do appreciate these antioxidant wipes. I mean, drops, they're really good. So I'm just gonna like pat this on my face. Mm, there you go. Yeah, give me some of that stuff. And then I just go in, and you guys seen that I um, you guys seen that I used a hand sand before I got to this part because, like I said, you want to make sure that your your hands are very clean during this part. Well, girl, don't be too loud. All in my video. Um, for moisturizers, I've been going back and forth between my um, Elf Hydrate, Darylin, my Elf Hydrating Water Essence with purified water, coconut water, and algae. Um, this is a really good lightweight water-based lotion with coconut water, algae, and hydrogen. 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 Hyaluronic acid. Or I would just spray my face with this soothing aloe mist because it soothes skins and refreshes makeup with vitamin C, I mean vitamin E and cucumber. Vitamin E is a very, very good skin agent or oil for the skin, but it can be very pore clogging. 
So if you're prone to uh, breakouts, your pores are very open, using things like this, I do not recommend. I use this at night, but like the smallest amount. Um, this is good because it's put into a mist for you. So it's not really that, it's not really oil based. So the only oil they have in here is seed oil. And seed oil is very light. They also have castor oil. Um, castor oil is kind of heavy, but like I said, castor oil doesn't really affect the face or clog the pores in any type of way. I'm just gonna go in with the soothing mist spray because it's easier. This is like an on-the-go moisturizer because with this, I would have to get a cotton swab and swab it all around and dilly dally dib and I really don't have time. Um, and that's all I do for my face and I walk outside and it's a glow. It's a glow every time, you guys. I'm not even lying. It's a glow. PD, um, Seven Cents Bionic Therapy uh, Secret Glow uh, CBD Face Oil. And um, I would only use this on a, well, I would only use it now on a day where my skin feels extra tight or dry from extensively washing it or, you know, something like that but now I'm fine. Um, also, uh, people say that you should put on SPF or sunscreen. Go ahead, sweetie, I'm not stopping you. Um, I do not wear SPF. I use things that has SPF in it. I'm a little rebellious because they tell me that I need to use sunscreen because the skin can damage my um, skin. I mean, the sun can damage my skin and um, skin cancer and all of this jitty jitty jizz. But my answer just came from Africa, and if they weren't using SPF, I don't think that I should use SPF either. I'm sorry. Maybe one day I'll learn from it, but I'm not using it. I'm not. Also, you guys, I want to introduce you to this um, for smoother eyes, 24K gold eye mask. And um, I got this in the mail. It's PR, of course. I've been trying it. It's Dormora. Um, I've been trying it out. Um, my eyes don't really suffer that bad. Um, I don't really have big concerns about my eyes. I do know that they're a little dark and these do, um, they help with puffy eyes and dark circle treatments. So um, I'll tell you guys a little later if you know, that they've actually changed my dark circles, but I do notice that they do help with puffiness. Um, I usually put these on when I <coughs> go to sleep really late because sometimes I go to sleep at four in the morning and I have to get up at seven in the morning or I get up at seven in the morning and I'm just looking at the wall and now my eyes are like, somebody punched me in them. It does help with that. I refrigerated them yesterday because it says for better results to keep them cold and they were kind of like intense. So I don't think I'm gonna refrigerate them again. Just for me, I don't think I want to refrigerate them. You guys can try it out if you want to. I'll actually also try to leave a link for you to try them because I don't think these products, anything with 24K now is like upselling because 24K is a trend. So these aren't that pricey. So I'll let you guys know where I got them from if you're interested. I'm just gonna sit these on my eyes for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and... Ah! Reading is freaking fundamental. It says do not freeze. I froze them. I didn't mean to. So refrigerate. I threw them in the freezer and I kept them in there too long. Because you know how you throw them in the freezer so it can like hurry up and get um, frozen and you can just, I mean, cold, cool. So you could just use them, but I end up leaving wow. them in there too long. So do not freeze. Maybe that's why they were in chance. But it didn't really do anything bad to my eyes. So it just was intense. Like I said, like I felt it and it was just like, um, not a burning sensation, but it was just too much. So I end up taking them off faster. So it says to just take them out of the thing. You wanna leave all the residue and juice on it because that is the good stuff. And go ahead and rub it on in. Give it a little pitter patty pity pat. 
um, be extra gentle around the eyes because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And if you're crinkly under there now, you're looking like a witch. Let's just be honest. Okay. And I also would use this tool underneath it just to like work it in there because this helps with dark spots and things like that and lots of pigmentation in the skin. All right, so it has been 20 minutes and I'm just about to take these bad suckers off. Um, oh. So. Um, I'm just going to put more sanitizer on and just take uh, these two fingers and just pat around. And um, here's where I would add lip gloss and then I'm done for the day. Um, honestly, I do um, appreciate you guys for sticking around while I be um, not consistent. Um, Thank you for, um, you know, thumbsing up my videos and even clicking on them and watching them and, you know, the interaction that you guys give me. Um, I did a Juneteenth makeup look on um, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter. You guys, I have a new Twitter. Go ahead and add me. It is Aggie J, um, one Y with an underscore. I'm so so sad because the people I had on my last Twitter were amazing but hopefully that we can create more amazing experience is if you guys just go ahead and add me I'll leave all my socials down below don't forget to thumbs up this video share it for somebody else because baby girl we struggle as a melanated um, community to prevent those dark spots and to stop those dark spots from peeping through and y'all see that this simple routine of washing my face every day making sure that it's moisturized in every way helped me get rid of a lot of that uh dark uh spots on my forehead line and when i broke oh man i can remember i feel i can i feel like i can remember that like yesterday where this side of my face was just black spot black spot black spot black spot and now it's completely gone and this is really fast acting you guys i'm not gonna lie like i'll have a bump i'll do this routine morning and night and when i wake up the next day everything's gone and my skin looks back gorgeous and pretty so it's really fast acting and uh thank you guys if you stayed this long because that means you actually really care about your skin and i'm proud of you sis that's right. Take care of that skin, sis, because that is the first thing you will see when you lay your wake up in the morning and the last thing you will see when you lay down that head. So make sure that the, 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 the main source is great. And then we can do whatever we want with it. We can put plastic in it and we can draw all type of squiggly lines. But at the end of the day, make sure that you take care of that skin and love the skin you're in. All right. Love you guys. Be safe. Black lives matter just spread a little love uh don't be so easy to hate and be negative let's be positive let's end the year off better than what it's given us because lord i don't know bye i will be coming back to you guys with a bomb ass tutorial so wait on that i promise if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe don't forget to This is video number one. Number two is coming shortly. And you know, the third one is gonna follow it. It's subscribers week. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. Enjoy your day.